I completed the Hunters uh, with every U-boat. I survived with every U-boat and I wanted more. So what did I do? Of course I went and bought uh, the next game in Gregory Smith's excellent submarine uh, game series which is Silent Victory US submarines in the Pacific 1941 to 45 uh, by GMT as well so this is the second printing and I'm just gonna give you a look here on the sides uh, if you feel like this is something you want to read go ahead and pause the video now I'm gonna give you a few more seconds and you might want to read this as well basically it gives us a few pictures of the uh, operational map uh, or patrol map and the submarine uh, class card and so on a few examples of the counters I have opened this game up since I bought it uh, I didn't have the time to record uh, a proper unboxing so I'm just gonna show you what's in the box as usual we get these very nice uh, patrol log sheets which are plenty enough and you can just go ahead and download and print them if they aren't you have the rule book which is the same type as you have in uh, the hunters if you know the hunters it's the rules are pretty much the same there are some few uh, new things but if you know the hunters it's just gonna be able to pick this up and read the rules and, and go ahead and play and then we have the target rule rosters I think it's called roster in English uh, for the small freighters uh, in different groups and warship so again, if you played the Hunters, this is more of that good stuff. You have some improvements here because the crew advancement is here and captain awards and so on. Uh, promotions. And I know the promotions was uh, before the chart in the Hunters was in the rules, uh, which felt a little bit strange uh, having to go through the rule book to find a chart. So I do appreciate that chart uh, being there. Then we have uh, the ones for random event. And we have scuttling and wolf park, uh, wolf pack chart. Also, this I believe was in the rule book in the hunters. So another improvement. Uh, chart for patrol assignment and uh, various escort aircraft quality, evasive maneuvers, exceeding test depth, and circular run. And I believe these three were also in the rules uh, of the hunters. Uh, our usual, this looks just like the hunters, the torpedo deck and fire charts and escort detection on, on uh, submachine, sub, so, sorry, sub damage and our different kind of systems which can get damaged and how to repair them and so on. We have our encounter chart again, just like the hunters and patrol assignment. And you might notice that there were two, two patrol assignment charts uh, compared to just one in the hunters. That's because our boats might uh, start from Australia or I believe, I'm not going to lie, so I'm just going to look it up. Yeah, uh, or Australia or Pearl Harbor. So that's why there are two of those. Then just like in the Hunters, uh, the last edition with the, with the updated stuff, you have these optional maps, patrol maps. I, to be honest, don't really use them myself. I think there's enough of stuff to keep track on, but if you like that kind of stuff, it's a neat addition to the game. We have our uh, submarine combat mat. Uh, it looks a little bit different than the one in the Hunters, but not very different. And then we have our different kind of submarines. We have the Argonaut, which st starts in August 1942. On the back of that, we have the Baloa class, uh, available from July 1943. We have the Narwhal from December 41 and Porpoise also from December 41. We have the Gar class which is available December 1941. The Gatto class or Gatto available April 1942. We have the Tench class available as late as February 1945. And then we have uh, the Gatto again. The Tambor class available December 41 and the Salmon also available December 41. And you can see some new stuff here. Uh, basically there are some 
Well, actually, you can't see that on these, but you can see on the later models, you can see there's some new stuff here, decoys, and also some new stuff, uh, some radar and stuff that we did not see in, um, in the Hunters. So that's cool, looking forward to that. Uh, we have a bunch of count, uh, counters, and before I show you that, I'm just going to show you on the side here, we have some more graphics. Uh, can you guess what that is? I was looking at this for so long, I was like, why is there an avocado here? I couldn't figure out what this was. I even asked my girlfriend, can you see what this is? But after a few minutes at, of staring at it, I see it's a submarine firing a torpedo with a... Uh, cloud of smoke or, or bubbles uh, behind it. Uh, I don't know why I can see it. But anyway, it's not an avocado, it's a torpedo, I guess. So we get uh, some nice dice with this game, uh, which covers all that we need. We don't need any extra dice. We have a lot of counters for different awards, purple hearts and silver stars and bronze stars and so on, which is New to this game, in the old game you could only get the, the Iron Cross or the Knight's Cross. We have different kind of um, of torpedoes and ammunition for our deck guns. <coughs> we have different kind of deck guns and uh, some counters for our jammers for later in the war. And anti-aircraft guns. We have uh, our big um, capital ships here, quite a lot of them. And then we have uh, some badges, which you will get one after every successful patrol. Battle stars, which you will also get one after every successful patrol. Uh, we have a small and large tankers. And then we have small and large passengers. And we have some warships here, and there's different kinds. Uh, you can see it's a little bit of text there, and for example... Uh, you have um, some of them that are uh, submarines and some are other kind of warships. Uh, and then you also have a uh, ammunition ship here hidden. You have your counters for marking damage on equipment, like for example the SD radar. And then you have your uh, ones for marking damage on engines, the electrical or diesel engines. And then you have your generic damage markers, which are good for uh, stuff that don't have a marker. I think maybe like the deck gun might not have one. Uh, for random events and uh, stuff like that. Uh, Rabbit's Foot, the Letter of Rep Reprimand and uh, Crew Sick. I love random events. You have some uh, mission markers. You have the classical mines uh, from the Hunters, but then you also have the Passenger. Uh, you have a camera and you also have airmen. And we have some, uh, I don't know, I, yeah, these are, the, these are the markers we're gonna put on our combat map to see if we are fighting. This is the Warship SS, which is the submarine, which is new in this game. You can encounter submarines, which is very dangerous uh, for showing time of day and so on. Uh, these are going to be used on your combat mat and on your uh, submarine class uh, mat. And then you have your damage uh, crew markers or injury markers to show if they're seriously wounded, lightly wounded or killed in action. And then you have markers for crew promotion and captain promotion. So just like in the Hunters, your crew can, uh, can increase in rank. Uh, your generic crew as well as named crew like the uh, watch officer or the doctor or so on as well as your captain which can uh, receive promotions. You have uh, small freighters here and large freighters. You can see that in this game the ship the counters for the ships are a little bit wider. They're not square like in the hunters. I like that. You have your different kind of uh, submarine counters for your different American types. Uh, then these are for playing with, I haven't played with that yet, but for playing with these um, historical uh, ship captains. And this is for the optional rules, if you want to have a variable quality in escorts and uh, aircraft. And then all of these counters are um, 
bonus counters uh, to replace lost ones. So these are not needed in the game. They are duplicates, copies or uh, whatever you call them. And uh, good to save in case you would lose one. And then you have these uh, historical commanders which you can play with. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show you both sides and I'll give you a chance to pause the video if you want to read all of the text. So I don't know why this guy has two pictures. I just noticed that. I don't think it's a duplicate of... Yeah, I don't know anyway. The other ones don't have it, but he does. Maybe it's... Uh, no, it's two different ones. And I don't know why they're on... Nope. That's, that's why. <laughs> And then we have the last one, which was stuck. And that's it. That's what you get in uh, Silent Victory US Submarines in the Pacific. Uh, I will do some playthrough videos of this very lovely game. I played a few patrols, I think five patrols or something like that. A very good game. Uh, I, I'll just say that if you like solo games, if you like World War II, and if you like submarines uh, i will recommend it but i will also say that it would be best to start with the hunters as the hunters have uh, f fewer rules and fewer things to keep track of uh, and uh, you i'd suggest to start with the hunters and then work yourself up to silent victory anyway guys uh, do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos uh, have a good time <laughs> have a good time bye